Uh, there have been quite a few steps that led up to this day. Uh, we're going to improve Tarina's smile today with eight veneers. Uh, the steps that led up to this involved uh, treatment planning and uh, addressing her occlusion problems and also some other posterior restorative problems. Uh, so today we're up to uh, that step again of creating uh, some veneers using the CIREC technology in order to pr improve her smile. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first uh, give her a little bit of anesthesia and uh, then we'll prep uh, the teeth, all eight teeth at the same time. Uh, then we're going to transfer a diagnostic wax up to the prep teeth using a template. And from that template we will then capture images using the CIREC unit and those images will be used to create new veneers that have the same contours as the diagnostic wax up. As you can see from this diagnostic wax up, we've recreated a, a, a smile line that uh, is in symmetry and also has uh, good um, uh, occlusion and so forth. And so this is what we're going to copy, if you will, using the CIREC technology. During the treatment planning phase, it was determined that Tarina had some lateral interferences and uh, some other uh, occlusal issues that were resulting in uh, the chipping that you see uh, in her incisors. And so uh, Lee identified those interferences for me on these mounted casts. And then we went back to Tarina's mouth and adjusted those such that she has occlusal harmony in the envelope of function. We also took the diagnostic wax up and created templates uh, for her to wear provisionally over her existing teeth just long enough to determine that where we were headed is the uh, correct uh, final occlusal scheme. So now we're planning to do a little gingival sculpting in order to achieve better symmetry. You'll notice that the crown length for this lateral is shorter than that of this lateral. Uh, likewise, it's very pronounced with the premolar, less so with the canine. So we're going to do a little sculpting here here and here. And in order to prepare for that, of course, we want to measure the uh, depth of the pockets and uh, we've already taken a look at the x-rays to determine uh, her bone levels. And we can further confirm that with a little bit of probing with the Explorer. So what I like to do is mark the desired location of the tissue intraorally with a Sharpie. So the technique is to use slow brush strokes without any pressure, walking across the area that we want to adjust until it's completely ablated, such as that. We're going to come back and rub off that ablated tissue in just a moment. First we'll do this one. And if you have your power setting correct, you'll get good action on the tissue without any charring. And we're just going to remove the areas that we've adjusted. Remove the ablated tissue that is. Okay, so that's all we need to do with that. Now we've got nice uh, symmetry as far as the tissue is concerned. Uh, crown lengths are uh, very similar to one another. And uh, we're ready to move forward with the preps. It's important to note that in the diagnostic phase, we had determined uh, that the tooth length that we're going to create for, for Tarina will be correct in terms of phonetics and, and uh, function. Uh, and that was done previously with a, uh, a template uh, provisional, if you will, over uh, her unprepped teeth. Uh, so now we've achieved proper symmetry where the tissue is concerned. We're also going to establish proper tooth length uh, using, again, the template from the diagnostic wax up.